summer months are a great time to go into a forest stand and to mark trees that we want to remove for a timber stand improvement. This is because with leaves on, it's a lot easier to identify the species of tree. Also, you might want to look at mass producing trees, those acorn producing trees uh, in late summer and see which ones are good mass bearers and which ones are not because not all oaks are created equal. Some oaks will produce the vast majority of the acorns in a stand. So you might want to remove some of those trees that aren't producing as many acorns. Also, red cedar is one that we can uh, remove. It has very little benefit for most wildlife species in a forested stand. But the point of all this is we want to create uh, more resources for the remaining trees to produce more mass for wildlife by creating forest gaps, we're gonna allow sunlight onto the forest floor and we're gonna get a lot of herbaceous growth that wildlife can utilize. Beneficial plants like greenbrier, pokeweed, sunflowers will really do well in forests once there's some sunlight. And you can see around me all the herbaceous forage and all the browse plants that are, are coming up in this gap. Um, now there's different ways to create these, these sunlight patches in the forest. If you're in an area where you have a marketable timber resource, you can just hire a consulting forester to mark your, your timber stand and to cut the trees for actually commercial harvest. If you're in cross timbers or some other part of the state where there's not a good commercial market, then you can either just cut the trees and leave them uh, lay, or you can inject them with a herbicide, or you can ring them with a chainsaw, uh, or we can do prescribed fire to try to thin the forest. But whatever method you employ, we want to create some sunlight in the forest, increase herbaceous understory diversity, and also to provide more resources for the remaining trees that you've decided to, to uh, not harvest off that site. But all of these things in general will improve the uh, diversity and the productivity of that forest for wildlife, particularly for white-tailed deer and wild turkey.